Right, I think it's time to address a few certain things that have happened over the past couple of months in my career. So I'm going to start things off with what happened on the last show of Society of Sin Wrestling. Now, for those who didn't see the show itself, the main event was an eight-man battle royal for the vacant United States Championship, featuring myself and Bullet Adams and six other contestants. This was elimination rules, and obviously there can only be one winner. So the match starts and we're all picking our own fights. And the first person that gets eliminated, my tag team partner, Bullet Adams. And he gets eliminated by me. So after the match, he complains and whines and moans about me stabbing him in the back. Really Bullet? Me stabbing you in the back? I call bullshit Bullet. In fact, let's go back to WAR in the Triple Threat TLC match for the Hardcore Championship. Who won that match? You did. Who else was in that match? Me. You stole the Hardcore Championship away from me. But did I complain about it? No. What you have to understand this bullet is that I didn't stab you in the back bullet. I simply paid you back for all the times that you stabbed me in the back including when you won the Hardcore Championship in that triple threat match. So don't come complaining to me about me stabbing you in the back bullet, because quite frankly, you've done your fair share of backstabbing. Okay, so moving on, and I just want to address something that's come to my attention recently, and that is the challenge that Sam Oxley made towards me for Brawl for it all. Now Sam, I agree that this is a dream match scenario that has never happened until now. And from what I understand is, is that you want to make this a 2 out of 3 falls match. And that's fine by me, but if you're making a stipulation, then I think it's only fair that I add a stipulation of my own. So, what I propose is, is that at Brawl for it all, first time ever, Sam Oxley, the Messiah, takes on the best in the world and greatest of all time, Tom Doyle, in a two hour three falls steel cage match. And trust me when I say this, Sam, you're not facing the same Tom Doyle that entered TAW a couple of years back. You're facing a completely new Tom Doyle, who's more athletic more stronger, more faster, more resilient, more calculated, more vicious than ever before. And it's going to take every trick in your book to pull off to put me down for the count. But trust me, it's not going to be that easy. And I think both of us know that whoever wins or loses this match, it won't be the last time. Because sooner or later, there's going to be a rematch involved will be a non-title or title match. So until then, at Brawl for All, I will do whatever it takes to win. And there is nothing that you or anyone else can do about it. So I will see you at Brawl for All, Sam. Speaking of challenges, let's continue to WWC. And when Benjamin W decided to call me out in his little speech. Now, Benjamin, I would admire your guts, but I don't admire your stupidity in calling me out. Because as far as I'm concerned, calling me out is the biggest mistake in your entire career. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a miracle that you didn't end up dead. But what did happen is that I verbally buried you alive to the point where your reputation is pretty much dead. Now, as soon as I'm done trash talking you and burying you, I'm going to be focusing on regaining 
my WWC World Championship, which is now in the possession of Ryan Wiley. Now, Ryan, don't get it twisted. You are a great competitor, a great rising star, but I am simply better. The fact that you did not pin me to win that championship means that you took the easy way out. But trust me, when it comes to our rematch, one-on-one, -on -one, there is no escape. There is no turning back. And it's only going to be a matter of time before I regain that title and put you on the injury list for the rest of them. And once the dust settles, I will be walking out as the new three-time WWC World Champion. And there's not a damn thing you or anyone else can do about it. So enjoy the rest of the remaining time you have left with that championship, Ryan. Because that will be the last time you will ever become WWC World Champion ever again.